Nice one, cool dudes. I am here at Brockenhurst Station, about to undertake the Brockenhurst Circular, a 10.5 mile route that goes in a circle. Great, good luck everyone, especially me. A good story about that pub, cool dudes. That is named after the infamous Brusher Mills, who was this local personality at the end of the 19th century who used to catch snakes in the New Forest. And it's said that he caught 30,000 and he used to sell them to London Zoo as um, food for the birds of prey. And uh, also he made ointments and remedies out of them. Good old Brusher Mills. Bit of a grim, busy road start. But I can't stop thinking about Brusher Mills and the 30,000 snakes. How many snakes were in the New Forest? I dread to think what it was like. I'm sort of expecting some snake infested jungle now. All the New Forest ponies are out. Wonderful. This is Frederick Frohawk, a naturalist who spent much of his time trying to find rare butterflies in a new forest. He even named his daughter after one. Her name wasn't Butterfly, it was Velenzina. A silver wash fritillary that's only found in the new forest. Ah, <sighs> sadly it's the wrong season for silver wash fritillaries. Whenever I think of naturalists, well, naturists? No, naturist is the naked one. Naturalist is the one that go after insects. I don't think of naturists. Whenever I think of naturalists, I always think of the guy in the Hound of the Baskervilles. I used to watch an animated classics version of the uh, Sherlock Holmes thing. They were brilliantly animated classics. Do you remember those cool dudes? My older brother and I were talking about a Christmas alien film about this um, sort of French Canadian alien that was always on TV when we were young. What were your favourite things that are on television that you feel nostalgic about? Please write them below, cool dudes. Nice one. I'm about five miles into the walk, cool dudes, and I am slightly underwhelmed by it because it doesn't really seem that you're ever really too deep into the forest. They're all quite big tracks and near busy roads. So maybe there are better new forest walks to do. Please report I haven't seen any snakes yet, so I think Brusher Mills must have got them all. This walk takes you right up a path and then back down again. I'm going to pub up here for lunch, but if you're not doing that, I would not bother to do this bit. Decided to report, that was a pretty underwhelming lunch. 16 quid or so for a burger it was pretty small and there was some red onion, sort of pickled onion thing in it, which was gross. And the chips were triple cooked, which meant they just tasted a bit fatty. You know, the worst burger I've had in quite a while, I'm afraid. I have to start eating salads instead of burgers, I think. Yes, you're making me look fat. Ah, oh, shut up, sunglasses, Marrick. Get lost, Pete Portland. Not Pete Portland. Weird sounding crow. There's only a couple of miles left. We might as well do a challenge. In honour of Brosher Mills, today's challenge is a snake catcher challenge. You're wandering around the new forest 
and you see four green things poking out of various places. Which one do you catch? You need to find the snake. A, B, C, or D. Choose wisely. Are you ready? If you chose A, B, or C, unlucky, you have failed. But if you chose D, congratulations. You were the new snake catcher of the new forest. You must come here immediately and catch 30,000 snakes. Good luck. This is pretty cool. We've got a flag flying here. And it says today is Independence Day for the island country in Oceania from the UK in 1968. A fort. Worth a few points on the spotter's handbook. Yes, back at Brockenhurst Station. That was 11.2 or three miles, something like that, 5,020 minutes. I still feel disappointed about the walk because it was just on gravel paths. And I, I think in my head, I thought I would be exploring these lush woodland and seeing loads of wildlife, even though it's January. So a little disappointing. I'm sure if you come and do this walk, there are better walk, or come to Brockenhurst rather, there are better walks around Brockenhurst. I had to stop because there was a kid crying in the background. Nothing to do with me. Anyway, that is about it for the walk. Don't forget to join the club. You can join via the website or YouTube. There are different benefits for both. Thank you so much to everyone who has because that's what funds all the walks and the B&Bs and transport and living costs. And for the YouTube members, there is going to be another walk that only you can watch. That's going to be the Brockenhurst Livington walk coming up um, soon on the channel. All right. It's time for the prize draw, if you want to stick around for that. If not, stay cool. All right, see you later. Nice one, cool dudes. I hope you enjoyed that. Before the prize draw, a quick update. In the last video, I talked about allowing likenesses of things to score points in the spotter's handbook. Well, on this walk, I ran across someone's front garden which had every single animal I'd ever seen in stone form. There was a kingfisher, red squirrel, owl, stoat, mouse, butterfly, there was even a whale. It was worth about 50 points. So that idea has now been abandoned. You must see the actual thing to score points. And if there's any doubts, just Take a picture and write cool dude spotters on it, put it on Instagram and I'll tell you whether it's allowed or not. The next thing is I talked about T-shirts last time. There is now a three month delay on the green T-shirts. So instead I'm going to get beanies made with a sort of logo on them. Is there any merchandise that you would like? Please write that below. All right, it's time for the blooming prize draw. Currently there are 728 members from the website and 126 from YouTube, making a total of 854. Random number generator. Generate me a number. Generate 97.
Congratulations, Cool Dude 97, aka Douglas. I'll put this incredible prize in the post to you. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you all soon. All right, that's it. Stay cool, and see you later.